It was time for Mr. G's five o'clock film structure class, and young minds were ripe with enthusiasm. The last minute change of schedule brought their Halloween plans to a halt. Miss Sturkey was less than thrilled to be in class that day, but there was something much more urgent on her mind. It was Brandonicio. Brandonicio had a passion for the class that nearly surpassed that of Mr. G himself. Turns out, this would be his last. On and on he clicked until Sturkey had had enough. This has got to stop. I'm sorry. I told you I can't help it. I have a condition. She knew it was true, but something about the constant clicking simply filled her with rage. The soul started coming. I think I was sweating them so much. Class was almost over, and the bustle of students preparing the lead could be heard by all. Except for Sturk. Class was over, and Sturkey knew what she had to do. I followed him out of class, and I stabbed him dead. He still had the pen. I couldn't believe it. All she could hear was that infernal clicking. It had consumed her, and there was nothing left of the sweet girl who had arrived for class that day. So that pin really got to you, huh? It really did, and I can still hear it. It's driving me nuts! That's when I remembered the knife in my bag that I carry for self-defense. Police later discovered that he was texting his lover looking forward to spending Halloween night with her. It was getting closer and closer, and I just kept hearing that clicking sound. Then he went for the elevator. I knew this was my chance. And just like that, the story of Mr. Brandon Isio comes to an abrupt and tragic end. Don't you have any remorse? I would do it again if I could. I can still hear that pen clicking, clicking, clicking. <laughs>